without development funds, there isn't the luxury of time. Uh, we are making two films that we have um, uh, been beneficiaries of the Media Fund. Uh, one of them is Byzantium, which is written by Maura Buffini, who is a very successful British writer, and is to be directed by Neil Jordan, who is a very successful Irish filmmaker. But that story has been going for four years now. But we needed the time, because the script never quite worked, and it was a big transition going from a kid's piece to a more adult piece. And next up is also Great Expectations which is Mike Newell, which also media have supported. Um, very, very different from Byzantium, a very uh, British subject, Charles Dickens, to be made in the year of the bicentenary of Dickens, something which is um, going to have a fantastic British cast with Hannah Bonacarta and Ray Fiennes and new young dis discovery, Jeremy Irvine, who's in Spielberg's new film, uh, The War Horse. So it's, it's, it's a top-notch production um, and something that... Again, you know, it's taken us, I think, about three years to get to a script that we felt uh, we could attract the right kind of director. Pedro Marvel's films couldn't be more Spanish. They deal with things like bullfighters and, and, and crazy Madrid housewives and all sorts of things that are intrinsically Madrid or Spain. And, and yet he has a big worldwide audience for those films. But he makes no concession to... America or Britain or Australia or anywhere else. They are very, very much Spanish movies. Tengo miedo del encuentro con el pasado que vuelve a enfrentarse con mi vida. It's no coincidence that Ken Loach and Mike Lee are so successful in France because their films are of a British nature, a strong British nature. I think that's what our commitment should be as filmmakers, is not to try and make concessions to Europe, but to make what we believe is true to us. OK, congratulations on your 20 years of existence, and let's hope you're existing for another 20 years, because that's about as long as I've probably got left to make films. So happy birthday, media!